We have alcohol. This will help prep the ear so the adhesive will stick. And here's the latex glue. Um, I use Ostoban. There is Torbot brand, which is just fine too. Just make sure it's a latex adhesive. The Neosporin is good for the new crop on the ear to help with healing. This is the Unisolve, which is the adhesive remover. This will really help when you're getting post out. This is the white cloth tape, Johnson & Johnson's uh, Zonus tape. And then the finger tape, which is really important. Make sure you have a good pair of sharp scissors. I like the one with the point, but you have to be careful with it and not cut the ear. We have our backer rod. I like to use anything from a half inch to three quarter inch because we will be cutting it down the middle to build our post. And here's the finished post. In the next um, part, we will show you how. Okay, to make the post, I will take, for one set, I will take three top fiddles. I'll cut them one in half. When you use the halves as extenders to put on the other two, um, just to get to the desired length of the post. You want to measure the ear and, um, and adjust accordingly. As they grow, it, it will be longer. You'll measure from the bottom of the bulb of the ear all the way to the tip. You'll just put a little tape around there to secure it good and prep it for the backer rod. Make sure both posts are the same length and tape again. When we measure the backer rod, we want it to be a little longer than the post because we'll wrap it around the end, the part that goes down in the ear, we want to add as much cushion as possible. So we want to, to measure just a little longer than the post. Then we'll take our scissors and cut the backer rod in half. This might take a little practice, but it'll get easier. We'll just go right down the middle. I like to overlap it at the end where the extender is. It just, um, in my opinion, it, it holds on a little better right there. We'll just tape the backer rod to the post that we've made. This process will get easier the more you do it, I promise. It's just, and then we'll fold over the, the end of the backer rod and make the end that goes into the ear. Just make sure you cover it good with tape. There you go. You always want the soft side of the backer rod to go towards the ear and the popsicle stick to go towards the outside. And we will do it again. There we go. Here's our pretty girl. This is harder to do by yourself and I didn't have anybody to help me hold, but they do really well and you always want to make it a positive experience. So every time you do this, really, really love on them and give them a treat afterwards. But I'll start with cutting the, the bridge open. I like to cut the tape from the back because sometimes the ear is wrapped around the post and I never want to risk cutting the ear. 
but still doing this from the back you have to be very very careful always point your scissors up and make sure you have a clean area between the ear and the tape before you cut please bear with the camera angle I apologize for this part sometimes the tape can be tricky just be patient and never cut until you know you have a clear path. I always like to stick the scissors in and pull up. The green finger tape doesn't stick to the ear, so that's really nice. You always know that you have a clean area right there. Then you get the Unisolve. This stuff works exceptionally well. I like it better than Goo Gone or any of the oily adhesive removers because it doesn't create an oily mess. I just try to remove the tape a little and then I put the Unisolve pad on my thumb and just work it up and down right between the ear and the post and it comes right out. Any um, existing adhesive that's still on there, just use the Unisolve pad and get what you can off. Oh, good girl. This side was a little bit trickier, but we just worked it a little longer. Go up and down from the bottom to the top, and it'll just eventually come right off. Oh, she's such a trooper. Good girl. Clean any glue residue still on there, clean it off, and then give her a good pet so she knows she's being good girl. Have them sit, it's a lot easier. I use paper towels. I cut them up into small pieces. You can use cotton rounds or something that you find will work better. But I just put a little alcohol on there. You don't need much. You just need enough to get rid of the Unisol and um, prep the inside of the ear so the new post will stick. Be sure and get down in the bulb of the ear really well. Um, you want to make sure it's clean. And as the ears are healing, you want to make sure the edges of the ears are clean too. Always put a little um, of this alcohol on the edges of the ears also. We're going to get our glue and then our post. Um, many people don't use glue, they just use the tape and if that's something you want to do, um, you can just reverse tape the post. So you'll put the tape on the post but then you'll just go backwards so the sticky side is out. <laughs> Please bear with me on this. I almost re-videoed this but I thought, oh get real, this is normal and um, <laughs> You're just going to have to get used to the puppies crawling all over you, especially when you don't have help holding. Um, but anyway, there is the tape, the reverse tape for the sticky sides out. Um, if you glue your post, you don't really have to do this, but if you don't glue your post, go ahead and um, reverse tape. We're going to get our glue. We don't want to very much um, and you don't want glue to go down in the ear so the part that goes into the bulb of the ear I will not put glue on just glue a little bit of glue on the top part of the post and be sure the backer rod the fluffy side is the side that you tape that will go inside of the ear and there's that little bitty bulb right there inside of the ear you don't want to go below that you always want to stay above that and again you don't need very much glue just get a good little bead there um, and just go all the way to the tip I apologize for the camera angle. Okay, we get our post. We don't want to go, okay, here's the ear. We, we want to come out, up and out. We don't want to go over across the head because that could develop other problems with the ear. So we want to go down in the ear, but not into the ear canal. Just go to the bottom of the bulb of the ear. I'll show you right here. Okay, right there is the bulb of the ear. We want the post to go into that, not into the ear canal. And just walk walk the post all the way up. Make sure it's 
Oh, my help has arrived. <laughs> so now we'll put Neosporin on the edges as they're healing. Once the ear is completely healed, you won't have to do this. But you want to put the Neosporin on after you put the post in, um, because if you do it before, the oil from the ointment will make the post not stick. Okay, we're going to get our finger tape. You want to get about 8 inches or so, maybe 10, um, to start with. And you always want to, to tape towards the outside and back to the front of the head. Just like that. Because that flap of skin, you always want to come outward around the post, not inward, because that could develop pockets later on. Okay, and I always put a pleat in the tape as I go up the ear, because I want both edges of the tape to hit the ear at the same tension. We don't want it to get tighter and tighter as we go up. So I always put a little pleat. Each wrap I do, I put a little pleat in it so it adjusts the, the direction that the tape is going. Get another set of tape, put another pleat in, and just keep going all the way up to the top. I got a little too much that second time, but we'll take it off. There we go. Now we're going to get some of the, the white Zonas tape. You'll need about four or six inches. Um, again, you go at the same direction, the back of it from the back to the front. I just go over the base that will help hold that tape in there well. There we go. One post is done. Oh, good girl. Now we're going to do the other ear. A little bit better angle. I hope y'all can see it good enough. You want to put the, the glue on the top part of the, the post. Remember, no glue down inside of the ear. Glue above the bulb. You don't need very much. Just enough for it to stick in there so you can get a good tape on it. Remember, we want to go up and out with the ear, post down to the, the base of the bulb. I kind of turn the ear inside out and walk it up from the bottom to the top to ensure that it's as straight as it can be. We're going to get our finger tape and do the same as we did on the other side. There you go, ear pulled up and tape around and back to the front. You want the tape snug, but never too tight because you don't want circulation to be cut off. It is really important to use the products that, um, that I suggest or another mentor suggests because um, anything with a stretch or a like plastic sheen waterproof to it, it could really be detrimental to the ear and cause a whole bunch of damage, um, even cases of losing the ear. So just be very careful in the products that you choose and make sure they are approved. We'll put the white Zonas tape there in the end to help hold the tape better. And there we have it, our posts are in. Oh, good girl. Now we will do a bridge. Um, not always necessary, um, but as they grow, definitely. Um, but I'll show you what we do here. Um, I always put it at the base of the head, never up high on the ear. That can cause an overcorrection, which we don't want. Um, it's easy to put just a little hat, like half of the tape on the top of the head. That will secure it in place so when they're running and moving, they're not flopping all over the place. Be sure during play um, and, and exercise to always have them engage their ears with a whistle or a squeak. The more movement that they do that on their own um, really creates um, that that post that you're wanting um, it'll, and it really helps with the success of your of your crop altogether. There we go.